Time now for a segment we're calling Know Your Joe. Uh, Robach and I are going to head to head, kind of, sort of, uh, about coffee. I'm a tea drinker. I don't know if this is really set Oh, so up you were already trying to like set the bar low. Like, oh, poor me. I don't know anything about coffee. Did you? Everybody here knows. They see me drinking out of a teacup every day. <laughs> I know, I know. It's funny. Here to help us out in more ways than one is co-founder and director of education at Coffee Project New York, Kalina Teo. Kalina, thanks for being with us today. And as uh, TJ just uh, mentioned, I am the big coffee drinker of the two. And um, a lot of people have a question as to where they should store their coffee. I put mine in the freezer, but I'm curious to know if that's wrong or right. Well, technically, <laughs> <Thinking it's wrong. laughs> technically, you can do that. Uh, however, if you look at, you know, the little bags over here, I always tell people treat your coffee like a little vampire. Cool, dark, uh, airtight environment. If you store it in your freezer like that, it'll be all fine. Um, they usually come in little foil line bags, uh, resealable. Just keep them in the back and you're good. Okay. Cool. All right. I love it. She just met you and she joined to let you down easy. <laughs> <laughs> what she meant was that is absolutely uh, wrong. All right. No, so now, okay. <laughs> now comes the test. All right. True or false questions. Dark roast coffee has more caffeine than light roast. I'm, I'm going to go with true. I'm going to go with true. 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 And the answer is true. Woo! Good job. Yeah. Oh, Good teamwork. Yeah. However, that's a trick oh, question, oh. though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I know you want to move on really quickly, but let me explain why. Yeah. Dark roast coffee lose more mass and moisture weight, hence it's actually a little lighter. When we're pulling and measuring a shot, you actually need more beans to meet that shot. Mm -hmm. More beans, more caffeine. Ooh, okay. ooh, yeah. Yeah. There right. you go. All right. All right, right, next question. A coffee valve is used to smell the aromatics of the beans. I'm going to go with false. Hey, what? I don't even know what a valve is. Right there. Right so, over here. All coffee bags have those on? Yes. Yep. I did not know that. To smell? I'm going to say no. False. False? False. False? No. <laughs> well, the grand reveal. You are correct. Good job. It, right? Good job. So it is actually a single direction valve. It allows for the carbon dioxide to get out from the bag without popping the bag and prevent oxygen from coming in, uh, making sure that the coffee stays fresh. Okay. Yay. See, now I'm being competitive. We're on the. Okay, <laughs> last one here. Cold brew, iced coffee are actually the same thing. False. I'm going. That's false. False. It's false. false. That can't be right. <laughs> You can't be. All right, let's see. And you are yeah. correct. <laughs> Good job. Okay. So they are actually two brewing right. methods. Iced coffee is brew hot, pour it over ice. Whereas cold brew, you have coffee steeping in cold water for a prolonged period of time. More caffeine, smoother taste. Yes, but also much stronger, I've much noticed, stronger. right? So Absolutely. you have to really be ready for that jolt. Oh, yeah. And by the way, just overall, because I heard someone say, uh, you know, I think people think if I drink tea, not if it's a preference, yeah. that's great, that coffee isn't good for you, that somehow you need an alternative. But coffee can actually be really beneficial for people. Absolutely. It keeps your heart rate going. Uh, it, as long as you're not adding too much sugar in there, you're going to be okay. No. All right, this is great. Kalita, thank you so much. It's good to have you here in studio. Do we have a fourth question? We need a tiebreaker or something here. <laughs> I'm okay with the tie. I think the tie is good. It keeps things pleasant yeah. on the set. Awesome. Wow. Thank, you right. thank you for having me. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.